Smith Jack USMC again. Five minute review of a uh, another multi tool. I'm using my old carry multi tools because, well, frankly, I can't afford to go out and buy brand new ones. And uh, just to show you, you know, a, a knife that's been used. I mean, hey, I can review something you never used, uh, personally, I think, or, uh, you know, I just don't see how it's possible. So, what we got here? We got the Leatherman Wave, right? by the company, Leatherman, um, which has nothing to do with leather working. It just happens to be the man's name who designed the very first Leatherman tool. Okay, uh, once again, this is the Wave. I have carried this knife for many years, um, till you know, a few years ago I quit carrying it. You notice it's missing something right here. Uh, there's a blade that used to be here, and it was the, uh, the serrated blade. And, um, well, you have a knife like this, you tend to use it for a lot of things, and that blade right there does not make a good pry bar, I'll just tell you that right now. Even though I didn't put any pressure on it really, what I was doing, it, it had been, uh, it must have had a weak spot, steel, so it snapped off, but it worked fine without it. It is a uh, multi-tool knife, it has out, open uh, access to the outside. Uh, from the outside of all the blades with the thumb notch you can open this up one-handed um, it has a very nice flat ground I'd say it's flat ground it's probably hollow ground but it looks flat uh, flat ground um, clip point blade all right very sharp very nice uh, it's been used a lot you can see even in the blurry image you can see uh, it locks in place which is nice so you can use it and do things with it you're not supposed to do with knives and um, it shouldn't close on you all right cool right over here stick your thumb in that little notch and pull out this awesome wood saw i've had people laugh at me when i pull this saw out and i say give me a two by four and you know it doesn't take long this uh, this is a good saw blade it's good and sharp even now it's been used a lot as you can see, grooves on it, dust on it still, uh, sheet rock, wood, tree limbs, uh, whatever. It's a good knife, right? A uh, good blade. Over here, one of my favorites. Got your cross cut file. And this right here, beautiful thing. Diamond file. Great for honing up a knife that's uh, been damaged by uh, improper use or nicked on a rock or something like that does quite well uh, you got your cutting file right here for making uh, notches grooves uh, fine finer uh, filing needs right and it locks in place of course just like all the other blades on this it's uh, one reason I picked this baby up uh, when I first discovered while well, I was still in the Marines actually and uh, it's good. It's a good knife. Served me well. Uh, did some time in construction work, and construction workers like to paint their tools uh, to mark them as theirs, so other construction workers don't claim them. So all my tools were OSHA green at one point, and this knife got spray painted like the sound effects, don't you? All right. Inside pliers, of course, needle nose type pliers. Um, standard jaws here and you got your light gauge wire cutters here your heavier gauge cutters in the middle hard to see and no crimping action on this one now blades let's see internal blades we got a standard flathead screwdriver uh, your larger heavier one uh, once again Another one of those great can openers, all right? Pretty good can opener. Pick your nails. And a number two size Phillips screwdriver. None of which lock into place, by the way. But I haven't ever had any problems with this. And a retractable lanyard loop. This is good when you're in high places and you think you might drop your knife. Get you some fancy 550 cord run it through there and tie a knot, tie it after your belt and you're working up on a, on a lift or a ladder or something you might slip because this is metal 
uh, if you got gloves on or oil and you drop it, right? I'd rather do that than uh, yell out headache and hope no one gets hit in the head with it. Um, let's see here. One, two, three size flathead screwdrivers. Uh, not quite as small as the other Leatherman I uh, did, the Leatherman standard Leatherman tool, the old style, but still good and small, good and detailed. And uh, I ran over five minutes now. And let's see, one of my favorite features. Scissors, right? It's a good durable knife, it's held up well, done good for me. It comes with a leather sheath. Um, it's decent for uh, sheath carry, I wouldn't throw it in my pocket. It's kind of bulky. And uh, now it sits in a toolbox because uh, it sits with my uh, gunsmithing gear actually. So I use it for adjusting sights and various other tasks with uh, things I may do with my guns. And it, it does quite well there and I like it there. You do with it what you want if you go get one. Um, they have some now that have titanium sides on them, I forgot the name of that particular model. But it's just like the Leatherman Wave, and uh, but they're a lot lighter, right? Might fit in your pocket better. Smith Jack USMC, uh, a six minute review of the Leatherman Wave. Simplify.